So let's, let's talk about karma here. And, and before, before we talk about karma, I'm going to define karma for you. Because a lot of people think karma means uh, the universe somehow is going to get back at you. Like there's some administrative function <laughs> behind the curtain of the universe and like there's an incredible, an infinite amount of calculations that are going to line things up so when you're playing golf, you get struck by lightning. Okay? <laughs> That's not karma. All right? Karma means action. Okay? But the karmas that produce who you think you are are infinite. All of the actions that are arising in your mind-body network and outside are infinite. So karma is this weird um, nexus of interaction, interdependence between the world, the body, and the mind. What's happening out there and in here and all the actions and when they sum up they produce who you think you are. And so, so what I'm really trying to say is your karma is not so much what happens to you, like get struck by lightning, but more like what comes from you. So if you get cut off in traffic, your karma would be your reaction to getting cut off in traffic. And so if there's a pattern of reactivity inside of us, that pattern of reactivity is there because we reacted that way in the past. And there's a habit of reacting. And so there is this interdependent interaction between what happens out there, think growing up in a family, father, mother, siblings, doing things to each other, I interacting in a certain way that causes you to think and feel and react in a certain way and you carry that into adulthood. The pattern that you carry with you is your karma. Now, that pattern of reactivity is very likely causing the orientation away from the beauty, truth, and goodness. And it's not, a, it's not necessarily a conscious choice. You didn't say to yourself, hey, I would prefer more lousy stuff in my life. Okay? That we don't make that conscious choice. But we, we do develop habits of attention where we unconsciously focus and the object of our, the, the pattern of our focus actually does cause us to manifest or become more aware of if you like that word more aware of the lousy stuff it gets bigger because we focus on it so much and we totally miss the beauty truth and goodness okay so how are we going to shift that so there's, there's some rules of karma okay let's go over the rules first of all like I said already, there's infinite causes behind one effect. So if your boss uh, passes you over for a raise and you react in the same habitual way that you reacted when your dad favored your sister and the same habitual way that you reacted when your high school boyfriend, you know, found another girlfriend, then the, those things that were happening weren't the karma. You didn't cause those things, but your reaction to those things produces a result. Now, the result is not because your boss passed you over, your dad 
or mom favored your sister or your boyfriend preferred someone else. That can be the primary contextual reason why you feel the way you do, but you feel the way you do, the way we feel is much bigger than just one event. We, we have to open ourselves up to the complexity of who we are. We want to be happy, we don't want to suffer. And so the three events that I named, the boss passing you over, dad favoring daughter, boyfriend favoring someone else, yeah, lousy, for sure. But who we are in relationship to those events is not a solid thing, it's a changing thing. And if we change ourselves, we might feel differently about the boss and the job. Take your job and shove it, right? <laughs> or, or, or understand father and, and father's limitations and that it's actually not a reflection on who you are as a human being, but more a reflection on, you know, dad's evolution. Maybe he hasn't evolved as much. And it, it's painful, no doubt it's painful. But you can have compassion in that regard for yourself and for your father. And, and then boyfriend passes you over you wouldn't give two nickels for that guy now anyway, right? <laughs> okay, so, so it's, it's, all, it's all context. And, and when you start owning yourself and loving yourself, you decide who your boyfriend's gonna be. And, and the universe is gonna serve him up, up on a platter for you, okay? Just want you to know. All right, so infinite causes behind one effect. Let's start opening our minds to um, a bigger sense of what's happening around us. It's not, it's, if we think it's one thing, we're, we're, what we're doing is we're solidifying ourselves in a story about me. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to perforate, poke holes in that story and, and create some room for a bigger conception of self. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. So good to know this rule about karma. So other rule about karma, your karma takes time to change. There are infinite actions flowing and they have a pattern of flowing. Just because you decide, you know what? I do not want to be depressed anymore. I took this class and Mark is like telling me some interesting things. I feel really good right now. I'm never going to be depressed again. This is excellent. Okay, don't hope for that. Okay, because it's completely unrealistic. Was when you leave here, right? Isn't this an, this is an enriched environment that we're here in right now? We're engaged with you're investigating enlightened ideas, and we're connecting with beauty, truth, and goodness with each other, right? And it feels good. And so you are percolating chemicals right now that are going to make you feel better. This is a completely impermanent state. I just want you to know. And as soon as you leave and you get in your car, you're, you're gonna pick up your cell phone and there's gonna be the text and then it's like, you just forget this like it was a dream. <laughs> and you will fall back and you're gonna fall back into the, the sleepwalking through life, okay? And I'm, and I'm not saying you, I'm saying us, you too. Okay, everybody at home, when you turn off this class and you walk away from your computer, you are going to forget that you just learned something. That's what's going to happen. It's all going to go away. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to plant seeds for awakening. Okay, we're going to do that today in this class. Very important. It's going to take a little time, folks. All right. So you create and therefore you will experience your own karma, so the results. And when I say you create, it's all interdependent. Meaning, things are happening around us that we don't have influence over. Like, if there was an earthquake right now, 
and the ground underneath us opened up and we all fell in, we don't have influence over that. Right? Okay. But the, the seismic shaking, the dramas in our lives are there. The tectonic plates in our lives are pushing against each other based on how we've conducted ourselves inside of ourselves, whether consciously or unconsciously, in the past. And so, because all of that activity is passing through our consciousness, we have to be the one that feels the results. Who else could? All right? So it's very important to know that if you don't begin to learn and influence more skillfully the actions that are flowing, that's a choice too. The, have you guys heard of the, the doctrine of acts and omissions? Well, not doing something is, in a, is an action as well. And you're going to get the result of that. All right. So, effects are similar to their causes. Now, think of the beauty, truth, and goodness. If you orient consciously toward more beauty, truth, and goodness, you are going to feel better no matter what. Notice that you probably feel better right now than you did before you got here. Why? Because we're orienting towards more beauty, truth, and goodness. That's the way it works. Now, the opposite is also true. Not orienting towards the beauty, truth, and goodness, we are going to necessarily experience the feelings that don't comport as well with happiness and health that it's going to be similar. Okay? We must know that. This is super important. Effects increase over time. So the more you do something, it's like building a wall. If you're a mason and you start, you got your cement and you got your bricks and you start making the wall, brick after brick, the more you do that action, that activity, the bigger the wall gets, right? That's the way it is with everything. Playing the guitar, sailing to Hawaii, orienting towards beauty, truth, and goodness, or not. Being conscious, striving to be conscious, or not. The effects will get bigger over time. You'll see the evidence. I'll present evidence for this in this class. Actions cause imprints. Think memories, okay, inside of us. And the stronger emotion that we have, the stronger the imprint will be inside of us. So this is why I'm saying important for us to cultivate the attitude of calmness and patience because if we really get fixated on lousy stuff and breathe a lot of emotion into that, what we're actually doing is we're producing more actions that will produce more of that type of reactivity in our lives in the future. More gets more and it gets bigger over time. The more emotion you give it, the bigger it gets and the faster it'll come. So understand that and feel yourself. You know how in, in, in some circles they say, fake it till you make it. Okay? Priming yourself is another way. So you decide ahead of time, I'm going to look for and name what's great. You decide to do that, and you're going to feel better as a result. And the feelings get bigger over time. Now, lastly, imprints will remain. So the memories that you have will stay there. They're imprinted. 
That doesn't mean that you can't change, however. Think of it, a, a memory in your mind-body network as software. It's software, the, the meaning is flowing on the hardware, okay? It, it's changeable by doing more actions that create more meaning, and so in a sense that you write over the software. You write new code. That's how you change. It doesn't mean that you can stop writing the code and it'll stay there. Because, just as I said, when, when does moving in the direction back toward the old pattern, because there's some gravity there, when does that start? When you stop practicing. It immediately starts when you stop practicing. Taking this class is jump-starting your practice, but this class only lasts for six weeks, right? And then after the six weeks, if there's no practice after that, that's the beginning of moving in the other direction again. Okay. All right, so that's all about karma. Good? Understand? Fantastic.